How's it going guys and welcome back to another episode of our NHL 24 Be A Pro series with our goaltender Everett Scott. And in the previous episode we finished up in the Memorial Cup tournament where we unfortunately did not make it to the Memorial Cup game. We did lose in the semifinals. I do not remember against who. I believe it was the Kamloops Blazers. But that's that's fine with me. We are at the NHL level now. We were drafted 54th overall by the LA Kings. And I decided to play through the preseason on my own time. And you did not miss much. Uh, don't advance a day. I already made that mistake twice in episode one. You did not miss much because the only game in the preseason that I played was this game against the Edmonton Oilers where we won th uh, three to two. Then we won three one against the Flames, lost six one against the Sharks, won three one against the Canucks, beat the Ducks seven one, beat the Golden Knights two to one, and finished off the preseason by losing to the Seattle Kraken 6-2. Now we are in the regular season. I am starting in our first game of the season at home in the Crypto.com Arena, which I believe is the correct name. Um, I don't remember if I said it, but I decided to play through the preseason because it's pointless and I just I didn't want you guys to have to sit through it. I wanted to get straight into the action. But like I said, we only played one game as it is anyway. So um, we'll go through the lines quick. And I do apologize if you hear my dog in the background. He's sitting right next to me chewing on a blanket. Uh, so I apologize if you hear him in the background. So on the first line, we got Kevin Fiala, Anze Kopitar, and Victor Arvidsson. Second line, we got Arthur Kaliev, Adrian Kempe, and Trevor Moore. Uh, as D-Mac would say, quote the Raven, Trevor Moore. Then we got Philippe Deneau and Pierre-Luc Dubois, Quentin Byfield. And then on the fourth line, we have Carl Grundstrom, Blake Lazat, and Jesper Bogfist. Oops. On defense, we have Mikey Anderson and Drew Doughty, Vladislav Gavrikov, Matt Waugh. I believe it's Matt Waugh, not Matt Roy. Mark Stahl and Jordan Spence. And then in net, we got me and David Riddick. And, um, I don't think Cal Peterson plays on this team. If I remember right, I think he actually was traded as a part of the, uh, Jonathan Quick deal, or maybe it was something separate. Um, but I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, so I think I mentioned it in the previous episode as well. But all I really have been putting my uh, Sunday training hours into is durability and endurance. I really want to get that endurance up there because I, if I remember correctly, and if it's still the case, uh, I believe the higher your endurance is, the more frequent amount of starts you can get. Um, but I don't know if being a backup affects that at all or not. Um, and then... I did spend the skill tree points, so I'll just run through that now. So I did get all the recommended ones. So we got five hole, or yeah, we got five hole, glove low, then we got dependable, and then dependable level two, and then level one for endurance, and then we have uh, movement level one. No dialogue boosts, so that is all that. Uh, we are 71 overall going into the start of the season. I did change the pads, so we are ready to go. They aren't much different because the Kings don't have that different of a color scheme from what I already had, but I did change the helmet. I really like this helmet. I actually did not mind uh, Mask 1 either. I thought it was a pretty cool mask, but I preferred this one. For the stick, I went with bauer supreme mock for everything made it black with white lettering the trapper bauer supreme mock as well with white stitching there or i guess kind of a grayish silver stitching there and then for the blocker same sort of thing i didn't want it to be all completely black because i like to have a little uh accent color to it and then the pads are 
Bauer Supreme mocks as well. I usually like to keep everything like the same like thing. I don't like to mix it up CCM with Bow like a CCM stick with Bauer pads and a and a warrior trapper or anything like that. I like to keep it all the same. Um Oh, there goes my cat running around. So yeah, that's pretty much it. We'll save just to be safe. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much a recap of everything in between the last episode and this one. Speaking of that, I also want to thank you guys so much for the good support on the first two episodes. It is greatly appreciated. I'm going to check and see here. Okay, we are back on four minutes. Okay. Okay. Because in this episode, we're going to strictly focus on this game here. We're not going to do anything else in this episode. We're just going to play our first game at home against the Colorado Avalanche. So guys, before we jump into this one, if you haven't done so already, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, hit the bell to receive all notifications for all my future videos. It helps me out a ton and it only takes a few seconds and it, it really helps out. It truly does more than, more than you know. So Anyway, enough of that jargon. Let's get into it here. Our first NHL regular season game. Uh, we're not going to mess around with jerseys, I don't think. Yeah, we're not going to mess around with jerseys. We'll rock our normal home jerseys. They'll rock their normal away jerseys. And let's just get into it. Four minutes, pro difficulty. Let's hope that we can have a good start to our NHL career here. There has oh. been so much talk about this young rookie, Ray. What's going through his mind here before he does it for real on the ice? Well, by the time he gets to the point where he's about ready to step on the ice for the game, he's burned some energy already, James, in warm-up. But he's had time to think, so you know he's nervous, he's excited. He's anticipating his big moment, but this is a blur. He's not going to remember any of it. All right, so we are here for our first NHL game. Love the intros. I couldn't see on the ice. Crypto.com Arena. Okay, I was correct. All right, let's see how we start off the game here. Can we win the faceoff? And no, we don't. All right. Hopefully that's not a sign of things to come. McKinnon gets it over to Landis Cog. Good interception there by Mikey Anderson up to Arvidsson. It's going to take me a hot minute to get to you, uh, to get used to some of these names. Kevin Fiala with a nice shot there. Backhander, good save. We got full pressure going. But McKinnon gets it out of the zone there. Isn't McKinnon out for this entire season in real life due to like an injury, if I remember correct? Ooh, that was a good chance there for the abs. Nice cross-crease attempt there. Thankfully, the defense comes up clutch there. Kopitar with it. Over to Fiala. He loses it. Kept in by Kopitar. Back to Kopitar. Good save by the Tendi. Devon Taves there. All right, Miko Rantanen coming in. Think I made a save on that. Not really sure, to be honest. It didn't flash green above me, so I don't think I did. Kopitar with it. Loses it. Fiala, nice shot there. Easy save by the Tendi board pin now. Kicked it out behind the net. Arvidsson loses it. Nichushkin. All right, nice job defense. Keeping the puck away from the heavy hitters on the abs. And they got plenty of them. All right. See what they got for me this time. Nice save. Stayed in front of that one. All right, Drew Doughty. Up to Kaliev. Passed over to Doughty, backhander. Or Kempe, excuse me. Thought I saw eight. Shot on net. Back to the point. Trevor Moore tried to keep it in. Oh, okay. Not sure how that went in. Must not have had everything covered like I thought I did. Still not 100% used to the tethering system. But I'm just going to learn to deal with it. And hope that it helps. 
I think maybe my guy just didn't make the save. Yeah, I think I think that just chalks up to low reaction time. If my stats were higher with uh, glove high or glove low, I think that would have been a, a save. But I'm not trying to make excuses. I'm definitely not a professional with this. Oh, and it squeaks through. Quote the Revan. Revan. Quote the Raven Trevor Moore. He gets us on the board. The first goal for the LA Kings. You love you love the bounce back. We give up a goal, we get one right back. Just skates in, kind of a cheese goal, but we'll take it. Yeah, we'll take we'll take any goal we can get. All right, so Kempe is nine. Okay, I did think it was eight earlier, but it is not. It is nine. All right, windmill deke attempt. Nice save. Believe that's two saves off three shots. So, so far, so good. Gavrikov. Oh, that's coming out. Can I get to it? Go behind the net. That's not who I wanted the pass to go to, but I'll take it. I kind of had to get rid of the puck there. I was getting some pressure on me. Up close! Georgiev with a nice save. I believe that's who I saw in net. I do apologize if I'm not talking a whole lot in this one. I mentioned it. Nice save. We'll pass that out. I mentioned it in the previous episode that depending on uh, how long it's been since I recorded and just how I'm feeling and what all is going on, sometimes I can talk a lot in a video. Sometimes I barely say anything. This is probably one of those episodes where I don't say a whole lot as we will freeze the puck. Just over three minutes left to go in the first period. Tied up at one here in L.A. But yeah, I don't really have a whole lot to talk about. I did hear that uh, this game is uh, having issues with deleting. Oh, there we go. Going on to the power play. I did hear that this game is having a lot of issues with overriding certain BIA profiles. Uh, 1T Glory, or you, most of you, if you're watching this, might know him as formerly as G20. He released a video today talking about um, how he was going to go record more for his BIA Pro series over on his channel. And he had. I think he said he had separate BIA profiles just for testing and stuff. And he went to go record his actual BIA Pro and it was completely gone. And I also he also mentioned that they like have an issue with like you can start a BIA Pro and your guy will just be 23 years old off rip. And that's kind of annoying because that's already like a good five years out of your player's career. Oh, where was I going? I was way out of position there if he had the puck slapper but yeah so i really hope that uh ea fixes that real quick because that is annoying i did oh we're going on to the penalty kill well four on four for right now but yeah he did mention that it's supposedly going to be fixed and a lot of like being able to turn off the tethering system and a whole bunch of stuff will be added in the day one patch. But he brought up a good point where he talked about, well, you made the selling point for the X Factor edition was that you could get it uh, three days early access. So you should drop the day one update. You should drop the day one update the day of early access, not the actual worldwide release. You know, because that's not really fair to the people who paid extra to play it early, which I 100% agree with. Like, if if the X Factor Edition would have only been like five bucks more expensive, then I'd kind of be more like, okay, yeah, I can kind of get why they wouldn't do that. But it wasn't. It was like a good 20 bucks more expensive. There we go. Nice glove save. Pass it out. We don't want to freeze the whistle. But yeah, I just, I really. I don't get the whole mentality of 
just get the game out as quick as possible. Like I get with yearly releases, they do it because they have they have to. Nice save there at the end of the period. I'm surprised that didn't go in. I was way out of position there. But yeah, like I understand why they have to do it because like they have a they have a specific deadline they have to meet. But it's like just make sport just make yearly releases like FIFA, Madden, NHL, NBA. Make them like every other year releases and just have a dev team that works on getting roster updates and just keeping the gameplay like up to snuff so it's at least playable that way with that extra year they can actually focus on adding things in that people want making sure everything works upping the graphic uh graphics upping just the quality making be a pro good making franchise mode better you know just stuff that people actually want that they don't have time for because they gotta pump the game out but anyway enough about that i don't i don't want to go on a whole ramble about game devs and things like that because it's something i do not do for a living so i don't understand all the stuff that they have to go through so for all i know the people who develop this game every year have the same exact feelings they're like well, we just we want to be able to add more but we just can't because we don't have the time you know something like that they they probably feel the same way and it's also not a lack of money either because ea definitely has enough money to survive without releasing all their sports titles every year they could they could go with doing every other year releases i have no idea where that puck is i had no idea where it was i was crappy flopping everywhere and gabriel landeskog gives the abs a go-ahead goal the defense i'm blaming the defense a little bit but also myself because like what was anderson doing there anderson was all up in my grill pushing me around but also, why didn't my guy stop it? That was like right into his mitt, and he just didn't stop it. But anyway, let's see if we can get a quick one back. <clears throat> Up close! Oh, that was a close one. But yeah, I am really excited for the actual hockey season to start. I'm, I'm just... I'm, even though I don't really expect Chicago to be anything spectacular, it'll just be really cool to see how Bedard does and if he lives up to the hype. And it'll just be good to have hockey hockey back again because with any sport, when it's the off season, you're just at first you're like, okay, I'm glad, I'm ready, I'm I'm ready for a little break, you know, nice save there. You're like, I'm ready for a little break, but then as soon as like a few weeks passes you're just ready for you're just ready for that sport to come back and like a week after vegas won the stanley cup i was already ready for more hockey and next week we will finally be getting it so and i'm very excited because we're taking on the blackhawks that is are taking on the penguins in uh first game of the season so I really hope we can start the season off with a win because I don't hate the Penguins, but I just always like to root against them because it's just like a meme to go against Sidney Crosby. Crybaby Crosby, as I call him. I really don't, I honestly really don't have a problem with Sidney Crosby. I think he's one of the best NHL like or hockey players in general of all time. Um, and he's very talented. But it's just a meme to call him a crybaby and all that stuff. So you got to go with it for the meme. Unless you're a Penguins fan. There we go. Nope. Thought maybe we got it there. Saw the one-timer lined up, but no dice. But we are on the power play again, so maybe we could get another goal. Where is it? Oh, I would have been peeved if that went in. I was holding triangle, and he was just staring at the puck. For those of you who don't know, holding triangle, your your goaltender is supposed to cover the puck. But I'm assuming if you're watching this, you have a general idea of how goalie works. But you never know. 
takes hold of the puck. But yeah, let me know what you guys are excited for with this upcoming hockey season. Let me know what, who your favorite team is, who your favorite player is, and give me your early Stanley Cup predictions. Oh, come on. I made the initial save, and it just goes in. There's nothing else I could do on that. I, and they create this chance and they put it away. You know yeah, like I make the save. I saw the green flash indicating I made the save. Yeah, I made the save and then it just deflects into the net. And it just stings even more because it's a short-handed goal. So yeah, this second period definitely isn't isn't my favorite, that's for sure. But there's still plenty of time left. We still have 30 seconds on the power play. Alright, Kopitar, don't lose it, buddy. We've got 20 seconds left. Up front, Kopitar. Georgiev will freeze it. I believe we still have a little bit of time left on the power play. We really need to capitalize because I've screwed the pooch. We're down by two. Yep, 12 seconds. There we go, Kopitar. Winning the face off. Kempe. Up. Oh. Ah, good chance there. Just couldn't sneak it through. Fiala back in the zone over to Kempe. Cross crease. Kopitar up front. And Georgiev with a beautiful save off the one timer up close. We are no longer on the power play. Still down by two. Let's go, Kopitar. Win the face off. There you go. Anderson fans on the shot there. Not sure what happened. Oh, that one was me. That one was 100% my fault. I was way too far over. All right, we don't need to see all this. All right, definitely not going well. Definitely not going well at all. Well, oh, there goes my dog. Yeah, I just... I didn't expect that... I didn't expect I'd freaking get a shutout by any means, but I really wasn't hoping to give up four goals. At least not in the span of time that I have. But I am a rookie after all, only 71 rated, so it's going to be tough, but hopefully I'll get better. Yeah, if you guys were expecting me to be a good goalie because I've done goalie be a pro multiple years in a row, that is definitely not the case, so throw those expectations away right now. Because <laughs> I can assure you I am I am not good at goalie. I just like to play it because it's like a super like underappreciated position by most people. And like nobody plays this. Everybody always does the skater career because it's more fun to score goals and do all that stuff than it is to be the goalie because all you do as a goalie is you stand here the entire time while you watch your teammates struggle or sorry I should say the AI struggle to score a goal but we're coming to the end of the second period here and we are trailing by three going into the third period so hopefully we can get a few quick goals at the start of the third to make it relatively somewhat of a close game. Because I would hate to lose in a very bad fashion in our first game. If we lose, we lose. But I don't want to lose by a super huge margin. That's just terrible. Kopitar with a nice steal. Gets pushed off the puck, though. But I mean, on paper... You would definitely expect Colorado to win this game. Like, 
At least I would, anyway. I just I feel like Colorado has a better team than the Kings, but I haven't paid attention to the Kings in a in a couple seasons all that much. So. All right, Amber going to the penalty kill. Not good for me. I'll probably give up a quick goal here. Drew Doughty going to the sin bin for slashing. Let's get a good PK here, boys. There we go. Nice takeaway back up to Grundstrom. Dumps it. They they also got to fix that too. Like dumping the puck is literally the worst this year. It's like the puck weighs like 20 pounds. Nice blocker save there. Off the post. Nice long pass up to Lekin in there. Big hit. Right back to Lekin in. Nice job, Grunch, from getting in the way of that pass. Up to Dano. 44 seconds left to kill. Cross to Grunstrom. Nice save by Georgiev. Kept him by Grunstrom. Get that pressure up. But Makar will get the pass up to Nachushkin, who will take it out of the zone. Nice job pushing him off the puck there. Gavrikov over to Wah. Grunstrom, come on, do something good. Nice shot into the mitt of Georgiev. He tosses it out. Risky toss out there. We could have got that one front and center. All right, so we killed off the penalty. Good job, boys. Kiel McCarr coming in with it. Cover, cover, cover. We'll pass that out. He was wide open. Fiala, nice shot. Good save by Georgiev behind the net. Arvidsson tried to pass it over to Fiala. Scrumming for it. 13 minutes left in the third. Still trailing by three. Come on, boys. We can get a couple. Where was all this? Or where's all the preseason talent? We did well in the preseason. We went five and two. What happened to that team? Nice shot. Rebound. No, we couldn't get the puck. Nice. Get in front of it. Get in front. Nice back to back saves there. Halfway done with the third period. Cross crease. Can't hold on to the puck. McCarr's flipping and flopping. That'll be a penalty. McCarr was flopping there, that's for sure. Right into the mitt. Where is it? Where is it? Okay. Good. I had it in my mitt, or at least it bounced off my mitt. But Fiala in the box for tripping. We need Dowdy to come up clutch here. We need to know to win the face off here first. There we go. Nice job trying to dump the puck down with the terrible dump and chase physics. Nice job, Gavrikov, getting the puck away from him. Grunstrom gets it down the ice. Long pass up to Lekkinen. I was way out of position there. Surprised that didn't go in, but also thankful. Toss it out. Grunstrom is wide open. Nobody was covering him, so don't need to freeze the freeze the puck. That was freaky. I thought Dowdy was just going to skate it right into the net. Got it 
Nice shot block there. They got to reset now. Alright, we killed it off. Nice job, boys. Now, if we could just get a couple goals here. There you go. Come on, Dowdy. Why are you going back into our zone? Why wouldn't you just push the puck up? All right, and we're going to the power play. All right, come on. Let's get at least a goal here. Let's at least make it a somewhat close game. And we lose the face off. That's not what we wanted to do. All right, come on, El Capitan. You can't be losing it like that, Kopitar. And that's a trip. So that negates our power play. So we immediately go on to the four on four. And it is Anze Kopitar going back to the sin bin, I believe, for the second time in this game for tripping. So we got Kempe taking the face off here. Loses it, unfortunately. Gavrikov gets it up to Kempe. Okay, Viala, I don't understand why they're doing this. Just shoot the puck. Like, they're not shooting it at all. They're just, like, trying to deke out everybody. I moved at the right time there, but I started moving back to the left, and then I freaked out and moved back to the right, so I started jumping everywhere. Nice shot, just wide of the net. They have 10 seconds left on the power play. We can kill it off. Nice job, Gavrikov. We will hold on to that. I got lucky there getting back in front of that. I was slipping and sliding all over like usual. Hey, 17 saves off 21 shots. Definitely not going to be a good save percentage, though, I do not think. Up front. Oh, come on. you got to cash in on that. Georgiev will freeze it. 22.5 seconds left. We definitely probably will not be winning our first NHL game in our season opener. But it'd be nice if we could at least finish only down by two goals instead of three. Nice shot, Georgiev. 25 saves, I believe that is now. There you go, another save for me. But yeah, it looks like that will probably do it. Slapper, good save by Georgiev. Can we get one more quick one? No, we cannot. And unfortunately, we will start the season and our career off with a loss. But some of those goals I don't... I don't blame 100% on myself. I did make the initial save on a couple of them, I believe. Defense screwed me over on one of them, and then one of them was also just completely my fault. So that last goal we gave up, I was just way out of position. But, yeah, so we will look at the stats here just because. I'm going to try and do that more throughout the series because that's really something I never really did. I don't think in previous years. So yeah, we played the full 60 minutes. We made 22 or we made 18 saves off 22 shots, 82 save percentage. I always rounded up. Gave up four goals. 818 save percentage. Not too shabby if you ask me for my first game of the regular season only being 71 overall. So yeah. Who got the goal for us? Trevor Moore, that's right. So, who got the assists? Kempe and Gavrikov. All right. Well, I'm going to get a thumbnail, and we will go back to the main menu where we will wrap this episode up.
All right, so unfortunately, we do go down in the line score. James, I do not care. We got to... James, be quiet, please. Jesus. All right, so we got a C plus and saves, a B for positioning, C plus for team play, C plus overall. Made 18 saves on 22 shots, gave up four goals, an 818 save percentage, and a GAA of four. All right. Oh, we got a conversation with the reporter. Ever you had a tough night and ended up with the loss? How do you feel about your performance? Um, not winning is disappointing. I don't want to let my team down, so I'll just have to come back stronger next game. How do you think you can overcome this pressure on the ice? Um... I think I need to pull myself together and give it all. Give it my all next game. My teammates know they have a goalie they can count on. Awesome. Thanks for your time. All right. So we have to win the next game. Not sure if that'll be in the next episode. I might play a few uh, on my own. Since we're the backup, I don't think we'll play a whole lot. So I don't want to get too carried away. All right, guys. So sorry if there's kind of an abrupt cut there. I was going to show you me simulating through all the games that we weren't starting in and finish it off with the next game that we will be playing in. And like I said, I don't know if we'll play this exact game in the next episode. We might because I literally just sim through a bunch of games to get to this point. So we'll go through and show you. So game two, we lost three nothing. Game three of the season, we finally got a win over the Winnipeg Jets winning three one. Then we lost again to the Minnesota Wild 4-1, got a win against the Boston Bruins 6-3. Then we lost against the Coyotes, then we beat them, then we beat the Golden Knights, and now we are here. So we will be taking on the 5-3 Toronto Maple Leafs in the next episode. I'm just going to play this one in the next episode because, like I said, who knows how many games we'll play. We had to simulate seven games before we got to our next one. So at that pace, yeah, we'll fly We'll fly through the season quick. So, um, yeah, we're, we're coming off a two-game winning streak here. So we are four and four. Hopefully in the next episode we can improve to five and four. I'm really sorry that I didn't play all that well in, uh, in our first game of our career. Hopefully I will get better. I'm still not used to the old tethering system, but even still, I, I, I am not a good goalie, that's for sure, but I try my best, so hopefully you guys appreciate the effort. Um, if not, there's plenty of other goalie be a pro series that I could recommend you where they're way better than I am, so, but yeah, I'm not going to ramble, I'm going to end it here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to turn on notifications so you never miss a future one of my videos. Uh, once again, thank you guys so much for the support on the first two videos. Welcoming, welcoming me back after a very long hiatus. Uh, it felt really good to see uh, that I was still getting a decent amount of views after not uploading for a while. So anybody who's new to the channel, thank you so much. Uh, hopefully you enjoy my content and decide to stick around. If not, thanks for giving giving me a chance. Uh, and for those of you who are returning, thank you so much for dealing with me on my hiatus. So, guys, that's going to do it for this one. I am Scott Games 99 Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, have a good one.